What's up, everyone? Welcome back. Man, it's been a long time since I've played this game, you know, uh, Call of Duty Black Ops 2 on the Xbox 360. So, yes, I decided to pick this game up. It's been quite a while since I've played this game. Uh, back in the day, um, uh, you know, back when my stepbro was still alive. I want to say it was back in, like, 2015 or something? There was one summer when he came over and he brought an Xbox 360, because uh, he had one at the time. And uh, for for that one summer, we played a lot of uh, Black Ops 2 and shit on his uh, Xbox 360. And, uh, yeah, I just have some very fond memories of playing this game on the Xbox 360. And with a couple other friends from uh, from my years of high school. Some of my friends from Drumline. And shit like that. Uh, so, yeah, I just have very fond memories of this game on the uh, Xbox 360. But some of you guys may be asking yourselves, wait a minute, multi-step, you already have this game on the Nintendo Wii U, so why did you bother getting a second copy of this game? And there's actually a reason behind that. Back when I got Black Ops 2 on the Wii U, I did not have an Xbox 360, and I did not ever think that I would have an Xbox 360. Um, so that's why I bought the Wii U version in the first place, was because that was, at the time, the only system I had that... I could play Black Ops 2 on. So that's the main reason why I got Black Ops 2 on the Wii U. Um, the reason, however, why now I have decided to get Black Ops 2 on the Xbox 360 is for the reason of this, the DLC maps. Because on the Nintendo Wii U version, you cannot buy the DLC maps, which kind of sucks. I mean, other than, I guess, technically Nuketown 2025, but that basically just comes with it, you know, like standard, so it's technically not a DLC map. Um, so, I wanted to try out all the DLC maps on this game. For those of you who don't know, Black Ops 2 is probably one of my favorite games of all time. I just really think it's a very solidly made game, you know, I just, I've always loved this game. I always thought it was really fucking solid, and just a really nice fucking game, you know. Um, and I've always wanted the chance to try the DLC maps in this game, and I've never had the opportunity to do that, you know, in one of my favorite games of all time. And so now I have the chance to do it, uh, now with the Xbox 360 version. Because uh, back in the day, my stepbro, uh, with his Xbox 360, he never got the DLC maps or any of that shit. Again, besides, you know, Nuketown 2025, which is a free DLC um, for this game. But yeah, I've always wanted to try the DLC maps in this game, so now I've got the Xbox 360 version of this game, and it's fucking awesome. So, man, it's been so many years since I've played this game, so should be fun. Um, so, my custom classes that I'm going to run in this game are going to be similar, in some cases very similar, to the ones that I ran in uh, the Wii U version of this game. However, they will be slightly different in some regards. I decided to go with some slightly different things this time around. Um, but they're still going to be fucking awesome. Still going to be fucking awesome custom classes and shit like that. But I wanted to switch it up a little bit. You know, that way I still have, in the future, uh, some kind of reason to go back and play the Wii U version. You know, because I have different custom classes. Again, my custom classes in this game are very similar to the ones that I run in the Wii U version, but they're going to be slightly different this time around. And again, I wanted to do that on purpose, uh, you know, to switch things up a little bit. So that way, and again, in the future, I still have some kind of a reason to go back and play the Wii U version of this game. That being said, though, uh, for most, like, intents and purposes, for the most part, I'm probably going to stick with this version uh, when I play this game casually, again, I'll probably play the Wii U version at some point down the line, at some point in the future. But for the most part, like, as far as, like, regularly playing this game, which I do intend to do because it's a great game. Plus, I just spent a bunch of money on DLC, so I gotta get my money's worth, you know? Um, but, yeah, this is a game I definitely plan on playing somewhat regularly on this channel. And, uh... Yeah, I'm probably going to use this version instead of the Wii U version just because, you know, obviously with the DLC, there's more to choose from. So, yeah, nothing against the Wii U version. I think the Wii U version of this game is great. Don't get me wrong, but um, 
you know, I have the DLC maps in this one. There's just more variety to choose from. So, so yeah, that's how that is and all that good shit. So, yeah, I got to say, guys, I am very excited to be back trying out these DLC maps for the first time. Um, there's going to be a lot to get through today. So, unfortunately, and I know some of you may be bummed out about this, but... Unfortunately, there will be no rock band this week, and I apologize for that. I wanted to get to it this week. I really did, but uh, there's just so many, you know, I want to get through all of the DLC maps, and there's, hang on, let me count them real quick. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. At least there's going to be 16 team death matches today, which is a lot. They can go up to 10 minutes each, so that's a pretty decent amount of time. Plus, unfortunately, I do have work today, so, you know, I got to do that. That being said, though, I didn't actually wake up too late today. It's only, like, 9 o'clock right now, so that's good. I think I'm figuring out some better plans to actually getting my ass up in the morning, you know, so that's that's been good. I've been experimenting with that, you know, putting the putting my phone in different places around the around my bedroom, so that way I actually have to get off my ass in order to shut it off. Um, so I've been exploring around with that a little bit as well. Uh, so yeah. Um, but again, I know you, some of you guys were looking forward to rock band today, you know, going through Lego rock band and shit like that. So I apologize, but it's just not going to happen this week. It should happen next week though, for sure. I, I'm going to make it a point to ha make it happen next week. You guys have my word on that. I will do my best. Again, I still can't 100% guarantee because I have no idea what's going to happen next week, you know, and World War Three could start next week, and then in that case, I probably won't get the chance to fucking record Rock Band for you guys, you know, um, so it just kind of is what it is as far as that's concerned, um, but I will try to make it a point to get to Rock Band next week. I promise I will do my best to try to make that happen for you guys next week and i don't see why i will have any issues or don't foresee having any issues it's just i want to get this recording session done today of all the dlc maps so i'm making this my priority for today um and again i just don't have time to do rock band for you guys today and i apologize because i know a lot of you guys really really love my rock band content and have been very supportive of it as well so I do greatly, greatly appreciate that. So, again, thank you guys for all the support on that project. It's been absolutely amazing how much support I've gotten on my, you know, Guitar Hero and Rock Band videos over the years. It's been, been insane, you know. So, again, thank you guys for all the support. It really does mean a lot to me. But either way, I'm going to do this today because I feel like it would be something a little bit different for you guys today. You know, something a little bit more uh, unique today. Um, yeah, so it'll be fun going through all these maps, and I just realized this map, Grind, I'm pretty sure they have this one in Black Ops 4, so this one may not be, like, a brand new one for me, but the rest of these I'm pretty sure, um, aren't in any of the other Black Ops games, so this'll be fun, getting to play on all these maps for the first time here in Black Ops 2, so we got Downhill as the first one, so this is gonna be awesome as fuck, so yeah, very excited to uh, to get this party started here. So yeah, let me just make sure I've got everything set up. Yep, all right, good to go. Now then, let's get some music going in here. Because as you guys know, I always love to listen to my own music when I'm doing these kind of things. Yeah, sorry, I should have done this before I hit up the uh, thingamajig. Should have prepared this in advance, but I'm an idiot, so I didn't. <laughs> yeah, I apologize for that. All right. Let's get some music pumping. All right. Let's rock and roll. So, yeah, we got downhill here. And so, here we go. First match on downhill. Looks like a very arctic theme. Alright, so here we go. My custom one set. So this is very similar again. This, these classes that I'm going to be running are very similar to the ones that I ran in Black Ops uh, 
2 on the Wii U, but some of the camouflages are different. You know, some of the, uh, I don't know, gun camos or whatever they're technically called. And I did switch out some of the weapons a little bit. See, like this class in Black Ops 2 on the Wii U, I ran a shotgun and then dual wield machine pistols, whereas now I run the shotgun and this thing instead of the dual pistols. This gun is so wildly inaccurate, Jesus. It's powerful, but it's insanely inaccurate. Again, when this gun does hit, it hits hard, but like, goddamn. I mean, it's so hard to get a hit with this thing, you know? But it is powerful. When it hits, it hits hard. Jesus. Nice. Interesting. Yeah, see, when it does hit, it hits hard, but, like, it's hard to get a hit sometimes. We got Peach and 07 Gen 2 Energy Drink. Nice. Fucking sweet. Whoa, 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 shit. Hello. Yeah, this is pretty cool. We got some nice artwork on the walls there. Yeah, this is a fun looking map. Yeah, I cannot tell you guys how happy I am to be finally back playing the DLC in this game. It's fucking awesome. Ooh, and there's a little house over here. You can... Oh, is that a snowman? What the fuck? Fuck! That is amazing. Can I shoot it? No. Okay. Still, though, that's awesome. It's cool shit. Let's see what there is in this house. Oh, this is very, very nice looking. I like it. I like the design. Very cool. You got the uh, TV there. Some speakers on the side. A really nice fireplace. This is a beautiful looking place. Kick-ass artwork on there. I like that. It's pretty cool. Yeah, man, this is a nice looking place. You got like some kind of fridge or freezer or something there. Nice little kitchen area. Clock. Yeah, this is cool looking. I like this. I like this very much. Would not mind living here, that's for sure. Even though it is fucking, you know, in an Arctic area. It's still a very nice, very nice looking place. Yeah, very cool. Nice, actually got him. <laughs> I don't think I've been over here yet. Ooh, shit. He's a bad guy. Another bad guy, I think. Finally, Jesus. Oh, shit. Yeah, it wasn't really much I could do there. Yeah, that was unfortunate. Oh, well. Put one of these out there. Hopefully get a free kill off of that. Nice. Okay, this is kind of a cool-looking area. Jesus! I'm, like, right in front of him and still can't hit him. Lord. So I said this thing is so wildly inaccurate. It's kind of funny sometimes. It's not necessarily good, but it's funny. Okay, so we got like some kind of skiing slash snowboarding shop here. That's pretty cool.
But yeah, I like what I'm seeing out of this uh, map so far. Very cool. Again, no joke intended there, because I know it's an arctic climate, but still. All joking aside, this is a very, very nice looking map. But yeah, I'm really excited to be back playing these uh, playing these DLC maps for the first time. It's really awesome. Again, Black Ops 2 has always been one of my favorite games of all time, and now that I have the chance to finally play the DLC maps in this game after all these years, it's really awesome. I can't even begin to tell you how much that means to me. Again, I just have really, really fun memories of you know playing this game with my friends back in high school and playing this game with my stepbro a lot during that one summer. Oh, fuck. Nice. What the fuck? He was standing right next to me and he didn't even kill me. What an idiot. <laughs> oh, shit my ass. Whew, that was close. It's also kind of close. actually got him. Nice. Alright. Hopefully this will give me a free kill. Help our team out just a little bit. Nice. Jesus Christ, this gun is so inaccurate. Again, the thing I... The reason why I use it, though, is obviously not because it's accurate. I use it because it has such insane killing power. Uh-oh. Like, if you hit somebody with this thing, they're, like, dead. No two ways about it. They're just straight up dead. For the most part. Yeah, pretty much, you hit someone with this, they're, there's, like, a 90% chance that they're dead. If you actually manage to hit somebody with this thing. But it is so fucking wildly inaccurate, though. It is pretty funny. Like, shoot people who are right in front of you and still fucking miss. Like, point blank. Oh, shit. Oh, damn, I got him, but it, he didn't die? Oh, fuck me. Really? I got him again and he didn't die? You gotta be shitting me. This gun is usually a one-hit kill. That's why I use it. Alright, well, fuck this then. I'm switching to this thing. This gun is also actually very powerful for a pistol. This thing's about as powerful of a pistol as you can get. I've actually... I, I think I've used this thing before in other uh, matches. You know, just by picking up other people's weapons. But yeah, this thing is apparently pretty powerful. It has a high damage stat. Although we're getting close to the end, so actually maybe I should stick with my main. Better not fuck around here too much. Nice, got him. Nice. That'll do. Close match, but we got him. The thermal scope was wildly unnecessary from that close. Still awesome, though. All right, well, guys, that'll do for that one. Peace out.